Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's video was not going to have any intro. There was no way of like, let's keep it at 100. None of that. Um, it didn't have any beginning bits to get you excited about the video. None of that. Um, this video is a thank you to Brother Sajid Lifem. And please forgive me. Yes, beautiful. What would you like to say? May Allah protect you. Are you okay, sweetheart? Yeah, You're okay? Is it okay if daddy comes and solves this issue for you as soon as he's finished with his work? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Mary John, give me, give me a few moments. Thank you. Now, those are my daughters. I have two daughters. Uh, the youngest name is Haya, who is asking me right now. The other's name is Dua. You're like, I see you had to think about it? Sort of. I want to thank Brother Sajid Lifem. And please forgive me if I'm saying your name wrong, Ahi. Um, you know, one thing that I appreciated the most out of your uh, nasiha was not the sincerity. And this is not me trying to butter you up. Because sincerity, that's between you and Allah. I can't tell you if you're sincere. By default, I should assume you're sincere. Um, and you know, some people might be upset, like, oh, but you could have contacted him privately. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, bro, you don't know if you could contact me. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. You did the right thing. You made a video about it. You did the right thing. And I appreciate the most of how kind you were in your Nasiha, how wise you were in your Nasiha, and how you assumed that I just didn't know. And my bro, you are absolutely right. SQ, in this age of technology, you don't know. You truly don't know me. I don't know. I did not know about all these, uh, the, these acts and what implications it can have. Of what impact it can have on the masajids. Of how, you know, someone who would like to be identified, they were, they were born uh, a female, but they want to be identified as male, come to the, the male gathering. The male gathering. That would be a strange time, huh? You think strange times are now. This clearly can make it even stranger. So please, please, first, thank you. The, the, the title is real. Thank you. Thank you. And not just uh, Brother Sajid Lifem. Thank you to all of those who checked me, who said what they had to say to me. And, you know, your methods could be questioned. And they, they're debatable of how your tone was. You know, when you speak, but Wallahi, what tone? Who am I? Who am I that you have to respect? Who am I to you? You don't care that I have children. Things where people were saying, uh, you know, bad things about me or mean things about me or, wow, subhanAllah. I deserve it. The Messenger wasallam, was pure, free from any bad or ill character. The best human being to ever walk this earth. We as Muslims believe that. And look how he was treated. Look how he was defamed. Look how they tried to cancel him a bunch of times, huh? They even boycotted the Muslims at some point. Tell me in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about. It's a hint. It's during the Meccan time. Come on. Give me some more details in the comment section, inshallah. Seeing this and how upset people could be and how they could say things about you, Reminds me of the name of Allah for today. It is Al Mu'iz. Al Mu'iz. This name of Allah means the one who honors you. He, dignity comes from Al Mu'iz. Dignity stems from Him. He is the ultimate epitome of all dignity. If, if your words are hurting me, it shows how much of an ego I still have. What should hurt me is that I could potentially dishonor the deen of Allah. That should hurt me, but that's a level of iman and, you know, you have to become a mu'min to get at that level. Is that where we're trying to go? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. I would be a hypocrite if I didn't, didn't listen or, or even think that I could be wrong. I would be of those who have pride and arrogance. The ones that the Messenger Salaam said that they won't even, uh, you know, smell what paradise Smells like, and they have an atom's weight worth of, you know better than me. 
Some people said, ah, you're not qualified to talk about this. <sighs> Wallahi, you're right. Wallahi, you're right. I'm not qualified for this. Brother Sajid said, 191,000 subscribers. Oh my God. You should all unsubscribe right now. You think I'm kidding? Go do it. Go do it. Test my iman a little bit. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Test my iman a little bit. Test me. I want to see what it feels like to lose. What happened to, uh, to Ayub alayhi salam? Some say that the devil came to Allah. I'm not suggesting this. this is what people say. I don't know. Correct me in the comment section below. One thing that this exposes is that I can be wrong. I am allowed to be wrong. But the real problem is if I don't own that I'm wrong. That's the real problem. I'm not well researched. I don't know about these acts. I don't focus about that. And if towards the end of my video, you always say, I don't know about these politics. Ilhan Omar needs dawah herself. She does. She does. Like we all need dawah, but she does. You want to know my real thoughts about Ilhan Omar? Huh? You want to know my real thoughts about the Muslims who, 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 who support her in the beginning and now when she said this? Where are you? You want to know my real thoughts about that? You don't need to know them. You don't need to know them. I'm not here to share p polit political views and all that. No, but I feel a certain way about them. If you would like for me to say that I feel like this is all part of the agenda of the Dajjal, yeah, I do believe that. This is all part of the agenda of the Dajjal. People are posing as maybe ourselves and there's no way, shape or form. You see, this is where you can start getting yourself in trouble. You don't want to know what I really think about this and I don't want to even share them with you. The truth is, I know who I am. And the funny part was in some of the comments, you guys are funny. Well, like, oh, SQ is down with them. Or are you, what are you talking about? Down with them. You got to assume the best in people. Assume that people speak from a place of ignorance. Assume I do. I'm stupid, bro. I'm dumb. I'm like, just like, oh. Ayub alayhi islam. Some people say, you know, that the shaitan, you know, told Allah. I don't know if that's true. That, oh, you know, Ayub is just such a dedicated, uh, you know, worshiper because I'm kind of cold, by the way. I'm going to end this really quick. Uh, he's just a dedicated worshiper because, you know, like, uh, you've given him everything. I bet you if you took it all away, he'd go. Ah. Oh. Allah knew. No. Allah, in one shot, one shot, took away all his children. One shot. With his property collapsing. One shot. He immediately gets sick. One shot. One shot he lost his children. Imagine the grievance process, uh, process of that. But you can't grieve about that because your roof is going. Who knows if it's raining? Have you ever had a leaky roof? Have you ever had a bursted pipe? Imagine a bursted ceiling. Your children dead. You fall ill. You fall sick. You develop these sores. Wow. You think my problems? Cancel me. Bro, I would get canceled before that happens to me. Like, look, you cancel me. Okay, this SQ game, khadam. That's what it is. It's all a game. All of you. I, I, like, like I, I want you to think for one second that I'm not a real human being, bro. It's all a game. People just want to pose and show their best side of things. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. And I'm not afraid to be wrong. And I'm not afraid to publicly own my mistakes. SQ, you should take that video down and this and that. I believe you, I was misinterpreted, mis uh, misunderstood to some degree. But what, what Brother Sajad said was 100% on point. I never considered that. And this is a video sort of part two to that. That I, I, did, I just, I didn't consider that. Anyways, go back to how you want something, right? Whatever, you came for that, but you're staying for how you about something. Because that's what matters the most. While I have your attention, and before I get canceled, at least learn something from me. And then, go, go somewhere, cancel, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Do that on Patreon. Just, fucking, just get rid of me, bro. Just go, get rid of me. I'm nothing, bro. Just, just, just get rid of me. It's cool. It's okay. al Moriz. The dignity and honor comes from him, not from your subscribers, not from followers, nothing. Ayub al Islam's everything was taken away. One shot, gone. One shot. Sick. His wife eventually, time passed on. He just sick. His wife comes to him. 
wife comes to him and asks Ayub Islam to raise your hands and make dua to Allah to remove these calamities from you. Haven't you endured enough? I'm paraphrasing. And Ayub, listen to the, the Iman. Listen to the, oh, we're so weak. Wallahi, the prophets of Allah used to get tested. Who are we? Who are we? I thought, by you saying a bad comment about me or something rude about me, the things that you guys were saying, I'm just like, man, these people don't even know that. I, I, my, I hope my daughters can't read these things. That would be, they would, it'd be hurt if they heard that someone spoke about their father that way. How do you think Fatima radiallahu anha felt when people used to speak about the messenger in that way? Not only does she believe in him as a prophet of Allah, but that's her dad. <laughs> Ask you, you're comparing yourself to the messenger? No, no one can be. If we would even get a fraction of his kindness and goodness, we'd be lucky. Ayub Islam felt embarrassed. He felt embarrassed. <laughs> Saying, how can I ask Allah to remove the calamities when it has even been the same amount of time that he's given me blessings? It was something like, I'm paraphrasing, obviously, you could correct me in the comment section below, that he had like goodness for like 90 years or something, and Allah had just tested him with like 45 years or something. That's not the point. It's just, it's not the detail. The details are where the details need to be. Allah and his messenger know absolutely best. And, and he felt ashamed that, you know, like it hasn't even, I haven't even reached the same amount of goodness in, in calamities that I should feel. I feel shy asking Allah to remove them. Today we get a splinter and we're just like whining and complaining about it. But eventually, and then can you believe that in those 45 years or so, he never not once complained. Never not once. Never not once. Felt shy. I don't feel shy. Crying in front of you. I'm not crying in front of you. I'm crying for the sake of Allah. I'm praying that if I misguided people that I don't go to the hellfire for that. What scared me the most is how we can be misguided. We, me, I could be misguided. You're right. I do need more knowledge. I do need more education. I do need... You guys are right. You guys are right. You guys are doing me a favor. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. Thank you for... Helping me in my personal development. Some people are like, now SQ, hey, your content is getting boring. It's the same thing over and over again. I don't know what to tell you. I do my best for the sake of Allah and I leave the rest. If you don't benefit from this, if you think that's the same thing over and over again, well, I thought the, I thought the reminders benefit the believers. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe your ears need to hear that message again and again and again. Maybe that's what we need. <sighs> May Allah not hold me account for all the things that you potentially possibly say about me. May not hold me account to the things that you guys might not even know about me. That's a beautiful dua. I read this dua. I read this dua. I'll share this dua with you if I can. I can't find it. And I'm happy that this happened as well because it reminded me that honor and dignity only comes from the more ease. So if I have anything, any dignity, it comes from him, not from me, not from some video I made, not from doing something, not from giving an iPad, not from paying rent, not blah, blah, blah. May Allah forgive me and guide me, protect me and have mercy on me and the Ummah and bless the Ummah, bless the Ummah and forgive the people who said some things that could have harmed me or wanted to harm me. Wallahi, that's going to come back to you guys on the Day of Judgment. You think that these comments just mean nothing? You could just say whatever you want on the interweb and be done? Like, yo, this lives forever on the internet. 
take down the video SQ. Someone could have recorded it by now. If they did or they did it. I'm not afraid. You know, the problem is a lot of people just want to hang their A's on the fridge. I'm hanging, I'm, I'm happy hanging my F's. Because the F's remind me of how much work I need. How much work I have left. I have a lot of work left. Let go. I like seeing my L's. I like them. I like this. Thank you. Thank you for giving me L. You think it's an L? I'm just going to flip it. I flipped it. It's not an L. It's a lesson. It is an L. It's a lesson. It's a life lesson. May Allah forgive us, bless us, guide us, protect us, have mercy on us. And allow us to become better. Better individuals. May Allah forgive us, have mercy on us. And bless you guys as well too. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And all those who try to say something nice or assume the best in me in the comment section below. Jazakallah. I give so much time and attention to those who, who don't care. But there's so many of you who do care. Thank you. Thank you for privately checking up on me. I didn't even know why. Some people were checking up on me. And I'm just like, why are they doing that? Then I checked and I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. People are upset. People are upset. Hold on. Hang on. Don't even assume or think I know. I don't know. You know, assume. let's really try to assume the best in people, you know. I just started going back to my, 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 my teaching and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a lot going on, you know. And with my mother-in-law passing away and with my aunt having the cancer, man, there's a lot going on. And may Allah forgive us, bless us, guide us, protect us. And I, I know I'm going to be saying that. This has been a lot of time. My daughter's here for me again. Really thank you once again. And I'm sorry if I... I, I hurt you harmed you in some way uh brother uh sajid uh life fam and I, i'm forgive me if i'm saying your name incorrectly um and forgive me for even causing you to spend time on a person like me well i am not even worth it next you mentioned a lot of good points and i think that i'm happy that the video did come out because i think you educated a lot of muslims including myself who will not know or would never have known about this as well just to be clear as well too uh, I love and appreciate you guys thank you so much may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you and bless you all uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh